We present a multi-scale model for simulating liquid hair interactions. As demonstrated by this hair flip, wet hair achieves its characteristic look through an interplay of wet inter-hair forces, motion of liquid on hairs, and forces between liquid and hair strands. To capture all of these effects, we introduce a series of contributions and thereby effectively capture liquids onto hairs, model flow along hairs, induce cohesion, and enable dripping. We begin by exploring the reduced flow representation of liquid stored on an individual strand. A static accounting of liquid on the hair will not allow liquid to flow along the strand. The reduced representation allows for flow, and as flow accumulates, we allow it to drip by converting it to our particle representation. Again, we see the importance of both allowing liquid to flow, and then drip with a model which can handle liquids locally and in the environment. Here we visualize the age of particles for the hair flip to give a clearer view of how liquid drips from the hair and to change the discretization from reduced flow to apic particles. The red particles are just newly created, while the blue ones are old. Since the liquid stored on strands has its own coordinate frame, we must be careful to account for external forces from within the liquid flow, which leads to a correct dismissal of liquid as strands move about. We must also carefully account for momentum as liquid flows along the strand, otherwise, as shown here, the added mass and velocity of the liquid will greatly disturb the strands it resides on. Here we see three different examples in which momentum is not conserved, as compared to our mass conserving method. Please refer to the paper for further details. Naive velocity rescaling leads to severe spurious bending. Our momentum transfer gives a natural motion. To correctly go from dry to wet hairs, liquid poured over a strand must be captured onto the strand, converting from the particle representation to the reduced layer on the hair with careful conservation of liquid volume. In addition to flowing along individual hair strands, liquid can also flow transversely across multiple hairs due to the effects of capillary flow on longer timescales. Here we demonstrate liquid placed at the left of a sequence of hairs gradually spreading towards the opposing end. Strands also undergo large drag forces while traversing through liquid. Lastly, wet hairs experience large cohesion forces due to surface tension effects on the liquid films on the hair, which causes them to stick together. As we pull two coincident wet strands apart, cohesive forces give rise to a zippering behavior. To show the varying effects of fluids on hairs, we simulate increasing the humidity in the room and gradually raise the amount of liquid stored on each hairstyle depicted. We also observe how these effects scale with the number of hairs. Our liquid bridge-based model of cohesion is able to reproduce the tree structures observed in the laboratory experiments of Beko et al. Please enjoy the following results.